government in this case, and if they, if they give you a figure and they tell you what exactly the measure is of each angle in the figure, just write that in. That says measure of angle 3 is 75 degrees. Actually, I'll use a different color so it stands out. Measure of angle 3 is 75 degrees. Then it says measure of angle 10 is 105 degrees. Now, for this example, they're asking us, find the measure of angle 2, right? So there's a couple of different ways we can look at this. Philip, what is one way that measure of angle 2 relates to one of the angles we know? What is the name of how it's related either to one of these two angles? Well, which one do you want to talk about, the 105 or the 75? The 105. OK, the 105. It's corresponding to it? Yeah, it's corresponding, right? You guys can see we have two lines, right? And in this figure, um, find the measure of each angle. Oh, it says these are parallel. OK. Does it say these other two are parallel? Ah, it doesn't. OK. Um, so it doesn't say that. It just says that these two angles are um, parallel. But it doesn't say anything about these two angles. No? Find the measure. Those two angles are not parallel. Well, if you have OK, um, and, and here's where it kind of gets a little dicey with that, Philip. If you're looking at these, these two lines are parallel, right? Yeah. But so these are two different transversals, right? So that's going to become difficult for us to be able to do an angle relationship. Because remember, an angle relationship only happens when we have our parallel lines and a transversal. But we don't know. If these two angles, they don't say are parallel. So they could actually cut these two lines at different angles. You see what I'm saying? Yes, these are corresponding angles. However, corresponding angles is only true when you have parallel lines, right? And what I'm trying to make, what I'm trying to describe to you is what if it looks something like this? Right? Because it doesn't say that these are parallel. So these two lines are still corresponding, but do they look equal in measure? No, right? So we can't use the 105 to actually determine our, what our angle 2 is. However, we can use the 75. And Kaylee, do you know how the 75? How is 75 related? They are both interior. And what do we call them when they're right next to each other? Dennis, do you remember? Interior. Damon, do you remember two interior? There's only two interior that we talked about, alternate interior and consecutive interior. So when they're right on the next to each other on the same side of the transversal, we call them? If they're on the same side, we call them? Consecutive interior. So consecutive interior angles. And if you guys look at that, consecutive interior angles, we know equal each other, add up to 180. Taylor, consecutive interior, add up to 180 or equal to each other? Add up to 180. There you go. So therefore, we have 75 plus 105, or 75 plus x equals 180. Subtract 75, subtract 75, x equals 105. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, it actually proves that they, it is equal to a thing. But we can't just assume it because we don't have parallel lines in that case. OK? So your answer should have been 105. If you did not write consecutive interior, give yourself.